I'm ready to get this money over with. Oh, over with. I don't know. What if you love it? You guys see my paper? Okay. So, a quarter, when something is divided into four equal parts, one fourth of that, we can call it a quarter. It's divided into quarters. So, our money, our quarters, we have four quarters and a dollar. And we can count by 25s when we see our quarters. We've got 25, 50, 75, and if we had another quarter here, it would be 100. Okay, so if we're counting by quarters, let's do that. We got 25, 50, 75, 100. Everybody, 25, 50, 75, 100. Let me see your fingers. I want everybody counting by quarters. Here we go. 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. 75. Let me hear. 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. Every time it reads, it's kind of hard. It's oh, like it's you're so saying 25, uh, 70, Well, here it is. Here it is written, Jace. 25, 50, 75, 100. Thank you. You're welcome. That's actually really hard to understand. So if I have one quarter, how much money do I have? One quarter? 25 cents. Uh, 25 cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I have two quarters, how much money do I have? 50 cents. 50 cents. If I have three quarters, how much money do I have? 75. And if I have four quarters, I have? 100 cents. 100. And we also call that $1. One dollar. Hey, uh, but just in the uh twenties and fifties and seventies. Oh. I got it. Hey, five zero five. I got the pattern two five seven five zero five. You made two texts. So uh, like when we count by fives, it alternates between ending and five and zero. That's the same thing that happens when we count by 25s. Because, yep, it ends with five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. Can keep going. And then, yep, we're adding a two in the tens place. All right. So we always put our coins when we're counting. It's just so helpful to put it in order from greatest to least. So our quarters now are the greatest value of coins. And I hope you know what a quarter looks like. So it's got a profile of George Washington here. The old quarters on the back have this eagle. There's still a lot of those around. And then down here, there's a, an example of the newer quarters are state quarters and each one has a different state with a different picture. So this one's Florida and we can see an airplane on it and then some an airport and a scenery. The airplane looks like a space shuttle, actually. Oh, you know what? It might be a space shuttle. Yep, maybe it, you're right. It does look like a space shuttle. It is a space shuttle. Yeah. Like I guess that would make sense. I think Florida is where, I don't know. So pay attention, like if your parents have a change jar, you know, you can start paying attention to what the coins look like. Um, these are, remember Creepy Guy, this is the newer nickel, but the older nickels, um, there's not an example here, let me see. The older nickels look like this. 
Jace has a $20 bill. Ballin. So, what do you have, Asher? I'm trying to cover this computer screen with a plastic bag. Oh, don't do that. All right. Name the uh -oh. Me and my grandpa are saving up for a model train. Can I show you what it looks like on screen share when we're done? Yes, when we're done. That sounds good. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so Lucian's saving up his money for something he wants. So one way people do that, that they save money. Hey, Asher, can you stop? That's like making me dizzy and I don't feel well already. So thank we you. We have um, $95 already saved up. $95. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so one quarter is worth how much? $0.25. Cents. $0.25. Cents. And I've got another quarter that's also worth $0.25. Cents. And then what's this? What's the little coin? A dime. A dime. How much is a dime worth? $0.10. Ten $0.10. Cents. Ten cents. We have another dime that's worth $0.10. Cents. And then what's this? A nickel, and it, and it is worth five cents. It's worth five cents. And then we have, hey, Asher, I'm going to ask you one more time to please stop doing that. I don't feel well, and that is too much for me right now. If I see it again, I'm going to have to just kick you out of our lesson, and you'll have to watch it later, okay? Thank you. And then we've got a penny, which is worth? Penny is worth one cent. One cent. And another penny is worth one. Okay, so we've got all of our values here, and now we can skip count. So we've got 25. How much is two quarters? 50. 50. Hey, Asher, I'm sorry. It's just, I don't know how to describe to you how I'm feeling, and it's make, that's just too much. I'm dizzy. I'm going to go ahead and kick you out and let Miss Madeline know that you're going to have to watch it later, okay? All right, I'll see you later, Asher. Wow, this is a big screen now. It looks big. Right. Let, less people are uh, bigger. You do something, so I made something about this. Did anybody know how to open up a piggy bank? No. Hold on, just um, a sec, guys. I'm going to let um, Thomas Julie real quick and let her know. There's a cap on you the guys bottom. Take just a minute, okay? Okay. So, Jake, there's like a piggy, like there's a cap on the bottom of the piggy bank, and you can open it up. Yes, that dollar I was showing was actually fake. What? Yeah, I like have play money, but the real money's in here. Oh. And it hurts. Like, it's almost like an actual bank, because if you try and get in, you can't. And this is not even letting me in. It hurts so bad. Well, Jace, and I, you probably have seen it, but I want to show you again the, the um, picture. That looks much, much more better. Can I stop you? Thank you. Anybody. It's just, you just copy off of a picture. Nice. The Polar Express. I we were going to make a good giraffe. order after you grow up. So it would be a giraffe. It's coming up, and we got our new president now. It's yes. Biden. Biden. It's. Uh, I hope he doesn't 
a lie. Yeah. Um, my pod teacher right here. She said that um, um. She said that um, President Trump was being a big crybaby because he is like, that's not fair. That's not fair. I know, right? He's the worst guy ever. Okay, guys, sorry. Uh, buddy. <laughs> All right, sorry, let's continue. Okay. So we have 25, 50, and now we're going to count up by 10. So 50 plus 10 is 60. Yes. We have 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yes. 70. 70. 75, 76, 77. And so the answer is 77. That's right. Yeah, 77, dude. All right, 77. Okay, who wants to help me with this one? I do. All right, I can start off all with 25. And 25 it would be, this one is 50, I think. Yeah. 50, and then 60, 70, 75. Miss Brenda, um, you see uh, 80. The second quarter, you put in 50 there. So yeah, we're, he's skipped counting up. I, you're right. I didn't put the values up here. I skipped that step. So Jace is counting up. He's saying this is 25, 50, 60, 70. 80, 90. Hold on. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, 80, 85, I meant that. So 75, 75, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, and then, Lucian, you want to help me with this one? Sure. So, we could put the values up if you like. Okay. So, no, you don't need to do that. Um, so, 25, 50, 60, 25, 50, 70. So three quarters is how much? Three quarters is 25, 50, 55, 75. Okay. Now that is 10 cents. Yeah. So seven, 85. Nice. 90. Nice. 91. The answer is 91. Boom. Great job, Lucian. 91 cents. All right, everyone, show me with your fingers. Marshall, are you not able to be on the screen? Does it not have a camera on that computer? Yeah, she does not I don't think else. so. Okay. Um, show me how many quarters do you need to make 100 cents? Is it one, two, three, or four quarters? How many quarters make 100 cents? 25, 50, 75, 100. How many quarters make 20? A four. And four quarters. Thank you, Marshall. 
four quarters equal 100 cents, equal one dollar. There we go. Four quarters equal 100 cents equals one dollar. All right. Marshall, you want to try counting for me? For the no. monkeys. Okay. So here we've got 25, 50. Then what, Jace? I. Mm-hmm. 70, 75, 76. Okay, hold on. We got 70. And we got another dime. 80. 80. 85. 85. 86. 86. Boom. Good job. 86 cents. All right, the next one, we've got all quarters. So everybody, unmute yourselves and do this one with me. Wait, Miss Brenda, we what? need 25. Remember when you asked 75, 75 100. Oh, hold on, Jace is talking about something else. What are you talking about, Jace? Oh, wait, never mind. I, I remember now. It's, uh, if you're fellow alive, you did three yeah. It's not four before, but now I get it. 25, 50, 70, 100. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's all, I said let's all count together. Here we go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, five. Alright. Yeah, you guys got that. One hundred. So we got a hundred cents. Uh we're actually running out of people now. I know. It's only I wonder if maybe maybe some of the Lewis, um, maybe Lewis, Kaylin, and Eliana thought I was still sick and didn't come to the lesson. It's okay. All right, here we go. All right, um, twenty-five, uh, fifty, seventy-five, hundred, one plus five equals what? Five. 80, 80, 80, 80, 70, 70 plus 5 equals what? 85. So we got 85 70. plus a nickel. Hey, 25 plus 50 plus 75 plus 85 plus, um. So 85 plus 5, I think is what Lucian's. Um. <laughs> uh. Uh, never mind. I thought we were still. I thought. I I thought yeah. we were still on the uh, seventy-five one. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. So yeah, we have three quarters, twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five. Then we have a dime, eighty-five. Now we have a nickel. So ninety. And now we're counting up by one two. 91, 92. 92. There we go, 92 cents. Okay, for this next one, it says, how many quarters do you need to purchase each item? We have 50 cents. How many quarters is 50 cents? Everybody? How many quarters is 50 cents? Two. Two. How many quarters is 100 cents? Four. Four. How many quarters is 75 cents? Six. Three. Three. There we go. Because if first I thought you were going to do two, four, six. If I know. Six, oh, you thought it was that pattern. I got you. Yeah, you're going to skip him, so I said. Yeah, the mind will always look for patterns, so it's okay. So, Dale found a quarter of dime and three nickels under the sofa. His mom gave him another quarter. Does he have enough money to buy a school basketball game ticket that costs 50 cents? So 
he has a quarter, a dime, a three, and three nickels, and his mom gives him another quarter. So now he has two quarters, a dime, and three nickels. And it's going to be hard for me to draw it, but if you... He has over 50. Right? You can draw a circle. Here, I'm going to put a circle. Oh, why is it doing that? All right, we'll try this. So you can draw a circle and then you can put, it's a big one. Let me make that smaller. So, oh, it's not gonna do it, darn it. If you draw a circle and you put a Q in the center of it, that can represent a quarter, a D can represent a dime. I'm just gonna erase that. And an N can work, can represent a nickel, right? So he's got a quarter, a dime, and three nickels. Whoops. And then his mom gives him another quarter. I'm gonna put that over here. So how much money does he have? So let's count, we've got 25, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75 cents. So he has 75 cents. Can he buy a basketball game ticket for 50 cents? Yes, he can. Can he also buy, I think it was a Coke, it's, can he also buy something for an additional 25 cents? How much money does he have? He has 75 cents. The ticket costs 50 cents. Can he buy something else for 25 cents? Can he buy a juice box for 25 cents? Jace? Only if he, it, only if it's a small number or uh, I, I So he yeah. has 50 cents, or I mean the ticket's 50 cents and he has 75 cents. So that's 50 plus 25. So he has enough to get the ticket and the juice box. Yes, he does. Yes. yes I knew I could do it. <laughs> yes, you can. Lindsay has two quarters and five dimes. She gives her friend one quarter. Lindsay needs 100 cents to buy a stuffed animal. Does she have enough? So this is like a multi-step problem. We got to figure out how much she has, then she gives away, and then she needs so much money. Well, when it's like this, it says she has two quarters and five dimes, and she gives a quarter away. So she really has what? She really has one quarter and five dimes. So instead of like adding it all up and then subtracting, we can just add up what one quarter and five dimes is and save, our, save ourselves some time. So she's got a quarter and five dimes. Okay, oh, here's what she's got. Quarter and five dimes, so let's count. 25, 35, 45, I just know it's like 70. 55, 65, 75. So she has 75 cents, just like the person above us, 75 cents. Says she needs a hundred cents to buy a stuffed animal. Does she have enough to buy the toy? No, she does not. If she had not, if she had not given her quarter away to a friend, then she would have had enough. But she did give the quarter away, so she doesn't have enough. Okay. Jan has a hundred cents and quarters and ten nickels. 
She wants to buy bracelets. Each bra bracelet costs a quarter. Ooh, how many bracelets can she buy? So she has 100 cents in quarters. How many quarters is that? Four. Four. So she has four quarters. And then she has 10 nickels. How much, how much money is that? Uh, four cents. So let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So she has another 100 cents, which would be another how many quarters? 10. So if you can remember, there's 10 dimes, or no, I'm sorry, I'm counting by dimes. And this is nickels, Miss, Mc, Miss Brenda made a mistake. Wah, wah. So we need to count by nickels, how much is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So she has 50 cents, which would be how many quarters? How many quarters is 50 cents? One, no, two, two, two. Two quarters. So each bracelet costs a quarter, so she's got four plus two quarters, she's got six quarters, so she can get, or the, what's equivalent to six quarters, so she can get six bracelets. Let me see how we did that. All right, last one. Brian buys water for 75 cents. He uses three quarters. What's another way Brian could have paid for the water? So three quarters isn't the only way to make 75 cents. How else, what's another way he could have used to pay for the water? 75 nickels. 75 pennies. Hold on, Lewis is just now, his mom um, just texted me. All right, so what's, I'm sorry, Lucian, what's another way we can make 75 cents? 75 pennies. 75 pennies, right? That's right. 75 pennies. What's another way? He could do two quarters plus two dimes plus a nickel. So there's all kinds of different combinations that you can make if you were to do on your paper. But yes, you could do 75 pennies. You could do 70 pennies and a nickel. There's all kinds of ways. All right. So you've got a couple sheets in the Google Classroom. It's either Seesaw or the Google Classroom, you can do your homework on counting coins now with quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, okay? Sound good, everybody? All right. Yes. Counting that money, money, money. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Bye, guys. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. I actually really liked this lesson. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Good train. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Didn't somebody have somebody something to say at the end? Oh, oh yeah. This, it, I'm going to, how do you? Oh, yeah, you're going to screen share down at the bottom here.